What's going on, Sauce Familia? SOSS support, stay silent. Do not mind the Mazda. We will get to the Mazda in another video. I'm gonna do a quick rear brake replacement on the 2019 Nissan Murano. Earliest year to match. It's like, what, 2012 or so? Correct me if I'm wrong. Get in the comments. Did this in already. So our last bit, we're hitting on over here. So this on here. And I believe we are a 21, 21 socket to get the, the lug nuts off. What I do before putting the jack up on there to lift up the tire. As you can see the small clearance, that's all you really need. You don't need to go crazy, lift it all the way up using the jack. Unless you're at the shop, and then you're gonna use the lift. Get your power impact tools. Don't need all that. So before lifting it up, I broke these loose, because it's gonna be a little bit kind of goofy trying to do it. And it's already up, you're gonna be shaking the, shaking the hell out the car doing it. That's if they own their heavy though. We're only doing the rear brakes. Let it go right there. Now, if you knew or you didn't watch the other video, the, the, the rear brakes will go out about four times, five times before your fronts go out after you get them. So, what you need to do is make sure you know which you need to be replacing when you feel like you need to be replacing it. It's only if you hear the loud, that loud noise in the background you just heard. If you hear that skit, like a school bus pulling up or something, and it's on your car, yeah, that's wrong. School bus is cool. But really ain't going to. <laughs> I don't care <laughs> about fixing their trucks. <laughs> so I'm going to put y'all down. Spreader. We got a 14 millimeter. Or really, your lug nut removal gets you the brake pad lubricant. Yeah. Cause up here at this top right here. I don't know. I can't even see. There we go. Top bolt. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Sometimes it's tight. 
It. You can be able to pull it straight out. <clears throat> Bang. Place them over here. Now you take from the top. Just move that on out the way. This is if it's all good though. You know. You know, you know. Some other motherfuckers. Ooh. That's how you know they were super bad. <laughs> Look how flat that is. <laughs> That's super, super bad. So both these are the same, because without the brace right here, mm -hmm. that means they go on the front, these go on the back, when they got that little clip on it. If it's just straight brake pad like this, they go on the front. But you see, it's smooth like a plate with nothing on it. This got something on the plate. Just look at it like that. Like that's bad. And then, hold on, I grabbed two of those, didn't I? I grabbed two of these, right? Oh, y'all know what we just ran into? They came at the right time. And this one right here, how how, like how flat this is all the way to the back end, how gone that the brake pad is. Explain why they ain't even got one behind here. Y'all was riding without it. Oh, no, nah, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. Wait, hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. This, that, that's the one that had the back brakes, brace off of there. My bad. It is, it's over here in the rocks or something somewhere. I did, I did hear it. Oh, wait, I bet. Yeah, here it go right there. This brace is supposed to be going to that. Just like how that one, you got it right there. But nah. I was about to say. Go ahead and take a little loop. Back in uh, and now we about to be installing. You see, this got the same shape as a brake pad, right? So you put it straight on there. Yes, yeah, sir. Sometimes it's something else, though. Like, if it's a different mass of cylinder, like this one, just a circle on it. So you can just use a brake pad to press it back like normal. The other ones, you got to have a special tool to be able to turn it. Like turn it to the right, and it'll put, and that'll be pushing it back where you don't. But on this one, you just need the brake pad and a spreader to turn this, push it back. And that's how y'all see that on there. there. You see that on there, there. See how it's going back. all the way back it's gonna be kind of weird on turning this 
that's as far as back as you need to go. Now, just go ahead, just pull it back up. Make sure you align the rubber boot right there up with the hole. That way when you get your pin, and also you need to make sure your pin is lubricated because that's what is good on the, on the brakes when you're pressing down on the brake. That and the lubricant. So I'm just... Give it some little oil on now, you feel me? Slide it back in through the hole. You almost got to see. Slide it back in through the hole. Then we're going to start turning him on. Hey! And that there, y'all, is a 14 millimeter. <laughs> and 14 millimeter socket. You gotta fully tighten them. Don't just cause it feel when it when it feel like you can't do it no more. Don't do it no more. <laughs> Cause we had somebody else do that, and now they had to do it over. <sighs> but, but now she done. And what we gonna do is to do my bad job that over my finger Flush. I'm gonna take one, put it at the top real quick. Keep holding on to it onto the bottom. And now we're gonna take another one. Let me show what it is right here. Put that at the bottom. You need this to take some tight anyway. Oh yeah. And then so what is this? Another one to brake pad spreader. Brake pad spreader. So you need to get one of them in order to do it. They're only like twelve dollars. Should cost a fortune. <laughs> I mean save a fortune. That's it cost. <laughs> Take like what half? Y'all ain't even been here half now. It's probably going on that type. It's only like twenty minute thing for real. The hell? <laughs> J is for jam. D is for damn. Okay. Just make sure they tight, tight. As tight as you can get while the car still up. 
Then we're going to turn here. We're going to let the jack down. back to it make sure that they tight tight to be driving on all right bam now let's just go ahead and double check this make sure these is tight Do it in in a star, not like side by side. Do, do it in like a cross formation. So when I tighten this one, then I cross over diagonally to this one. Do that one, cross over to this one diagonally. You know, cross over to this one. Good. <laughs> bada bing. Bada da 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 boom. Now, just gotta walk this back over to the garage. <laughs> That's the only work for real doing the rear brakes. Doing brakes for about 80% of the cars. Sauce Familiar SOSS support stay silent. We're gonna get to this one later, get to that one later. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. YouTube, Instagram, 100 plus ENT. But then I changed the name to Corey Lowe Meets World. You know, like Boy Meets World. Yeah.